In this video, I'm going to break down how Goes Madden runs the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, we're going to be breaking down Goes' offense, but if you've never been to my channel before, what my channel is all about is it's all about basically how to help you get better at Madden 21. We do that through different strategies and tips like this one as well as breaking down my stuff as pro player stuff and all that kind of stuff so we're going to dive right in here and we're going to talk about really i felt like one of the we're not going to talk specifically about the playbook that goes was using he was in uh carolina but what we're going to talk about today that i think is really really important is really his mindset his mental and a couple key things that i thought he did that made him really 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 good um but anyways before we do that again i just want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe uh by clicking that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and i also wanted to let you know to that if you want to get my full gun bunch offset with very similar plays to what goes was running in this game i have about an hour and a 15 minute full um offensive guide to the gun bunch in my text membership uh which all you got to do is text me my phone number is in the description and it'll also be at the top um left hand corner of your screen but really what i want to highlight here if you watch and i just want to watch a couple more plays of goes real quick um and we're going to break down a couple of his plays but this is the combo right here that makes him so good um and and as you see there fancy did get the pick but I want to k jump over here to gameplay, and I want to talk a little bit about what makes him so good. Um, and it doesn't have a ton to do with playbook as much as it has to do with mindset of the way he plays. So I'm in the Raiders book. Ghost runs the Carolina book. But I'm going to break down a couple of the, the number one play that he ran, um, or the play that I felt like he ran the most, was the play Flood. Um, so we're going to break that down. And then the other play that we're going to look at here, and interesting enough that goes, in my, I thought I was really surprised that goes did not run more of the play curl flat or Z spot. I thought he would want run that a little bit more than he did. But really what goes is, and this is, this is his mindset. Um, and I think it's really, really important to understand this. He is so disciplined as a, as a quarterback. He is a what we call a progression quarterback, meaning he's going to look one to two to three to four to five, meaning he's going to have on his play chart. So like, for example, this is one of the plays he ran the most flood, Literally just put the running back on a flat route. That's it. Table route. That's it. And and this is this is the way Goes runs this play. No joke. He's going to look quick to the running back. If the running back's not open, he's going to look quick to the tight end. If the tight end's not open, then he's going to look quick to the out route or the in route, and then he's going to look over the top. Something to that nature. And what I mean, the reason this is important is because it teaches you an understanding of how to read the defense i think this is where it goes really is an amazing um i just think he's really good at this um this is like his thing that he does that he does better than anyone in the world is he will always take his check down every time if you give it to him he will take it every single time so what that forces from a defensive perspective goes will literally almost always have a flat route on the field almost always have a flat route on both sides of the field that's how he works um and so if you're playing a defense like this right here where you're running curl flats if you're running anything other than hard flats ghost is going to rip you apart because he's literally just going to do this all game and you saw this a lot in his game against fancy and in his game against henry flat route flat route flat route flat route flat route his favorite route to throw I believe his favorite route to throw is this table route right there because he has learned and perfected it. He knows that against zone, he wants to throw it early, and against man, he wants to throw it late. Let me show you Tampa 2 here, and again, we're just simply going to work the table route a little bit here. But if it's zone, I'm throwing it quick, and I'm going to get my five yards and go back and do it again. That's how he plays, and to be honest with you, that's how I want to play. I don't do it, but he does do it. And um, uh, I, I tend to get, you know, kind of caught looking downfield too much. What I think he does a good job of is he, and he snaps really quickly, meaning he moves really quickly through these progressions because he's trained himself and practiced himself to do this. Um, but anyways, we're going to dive right in here. So this route against man or against zone, you're throwing it early and you're getting to the flat and you're taking your five. 
The next, and this is the most critical piece of Goza's offense. I really believe this. The next thing that he's going to do is he is going to, like, let's say you're running a lot of man coverage. The only adjustment to this flood play is he's going to put that tight end on an out route. And if the tight end's on an out route, most of the time that tight end will beat the man coverage. Like, if they just run stock, man-to-man, two-man under press, what everybody's running right now, and they just use her the middle, you'll see that Ghost will literally just run this play, and you'll be surprised at how well this will work. That tight end's always going to get that separation, and then he'll do something like to that extent right there. Another thing that Goes really likes to do that I actually think is genius, um, and I, I don't do this, and I should, this is an old school setup. Now, this is like a double post type of setup. Now, to imitate this, I'm going to put my uh, slot receiver just on a hot routed post route. You don't really need anything fancy or special. Um, you, you don't have to have that. So we're just going to do it out of flood. But we're going to put the running back on a table route. We're going to put Chris Godwin on a hitch. We're going to put Gronkowski on a little um, little drag route. And then we're going to put Brown on this little post. And then we're just going to simply streak or fade Mike Evans. This setup right here is another really, really good setup. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to motion anybody out. But really what we're doing is we're looking quick. If it's man coverage, we're going to typically take the tight end. And you saw Ghost do this a lot. This uh, air truck just trying to get out there and go. Another thing that you can do off of this that I think is really, really effective is we talk about zone coverage. This is what Ghost will go to when people start running a lot of Mabel coverage. When they start putting hard flats on the field. Because if you watch the running back, his job, see how he's going to pull these zones out? And then you can take that right there and get a quick three, a quick four, a quick five. These are things that Ghost will do consistently. Another thing that you'll notice um, is let's say you're running that Mabel coverage, right? Um, and, and Ghost is running the flood play, just like this. If it's zone coverage, watch this route to the back. He'll throw it right there. He'll literally throw it right there. He'll throw it almost instantly, almost instantly, if he sees that the running back is not manned up, he's going to throw it almost instantly. As soon as the ball snaps, he, that's how fast he can read the defense. So he's looking here in this left side of space, and literally what he's asking himself is, if that linebacker drops into a coverage... I'm throwing it right now. Drops, throw it. And it's that simple, and I know it is only a couple yards. Ghost doesn't care. <laughs> Ghost doesn't care, especially because a lot of times people will do this this kind of defense right here. This was the defense that he faces a lot. Mabel coverage, and watch this left side back. Just right quick, just right quick. I'm just throwing it literally almost as soon as I snap the ball, I'm throwing it. That was what Ghost faced a lot. Um, I'm surprised because Ghost, I thought he would, um, I kind of thought you might see him run a lot of, like, uh, Ghost routes. I actually thought he might really be interested in running that. And the reason why is if they do something like this right here, um, let's say you take this guy, Evans, and put him on an out. Watch how he pulls the flats out. See that right there? See how, see how that Ghost route kind of holds the routes? So what I thought Ghost could have done, this is another setup that I thought would be really, really good in combination with everything that he was doing. Um, and I haven't talked a lot about this, but if you watch this, if you just watch Mike Evans, watch Mike Evans on this out route. There's nobody there because the Ghost route kind of holds it, holds all of the zones. So that's another little concept that I felt like he could have ran more. And he could do that out of like his cover. You know, you, it works well. It would work really well with a play like... Um, Let's say, let's say he was going to do something like this right here where he put the hitch. Like this right here, it would work really good with a play like this. Because the out route's going to hold the zone down. But if you look here, again, there's nobody out there. That's an easy throw over and over and over again. So he could do stuff like that as well. Um, as far as how did he beat man coverage. Um, so what most people's solution to goes is, is to man him up. Because if they man up these flats, it makes it hard for him to be able to work the ball up and down the field. His his real answer to man coverage was this motion out similar to John Beast. But you'd see this a lot. Um, just lob. You know, and he got, I think he got a couple touchdowns on this. Um, that, that little fade route is really, really good. Um, especially if, you know, especially if the defense is, is running a lot of press coverage. 
Another play that he went to a lot uh, for man-to-man -man primarily was this route to the tight end. This is bench pivot. Uh, and essentially all we're going to do is we're just – now he really likes to, again, have those flat routes. So you could just do this right here. Just simply streak the slot receiver, put that running back on that flat route, and then, again, you're just going. Uh, but as you see here, now, again, Gronkowski doesn't have the route running, but if you have Jermichael Finley, um, you're going to be able to get that catch all over the place. Another simple setup that I thought was really good, and this is super simple, but I, th I just think it's so effective. Um, I saw a lot of I saw a lot of something like, like this right here. So basically, you've got the flat to the back, and then we've got like a post route to Mike Evans, and then you got a slant and drag combination. This is a really good man beater right here. The double crossing routes is really hard um, in combination with that deep post over the top was actually a very effective combo that he used as well. So, anyways, that's a little bit about Ghost. I just think the big important thing when you watch him is learning that and studying how good of a job he does at taking his underneath every single play. Now, uh, I believe that he didn't play his best game either one of those games. I felt like he's better than he played last night. But um, still a lot that you can learn from him. And uh, I, I just love the way that he is so... Uh, good at progressionally reading the defense like it, it's very very good at that so anyways thanks for watching this video if you want to get my full gun bunch scheme um it is the guns is it is the bunch offset so go ahead and text me my phone number is 812-216-3644 thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the games last night there's some really good games tonight i'm really excited to watch jay wall he is another one of those guys i really really like to learn from and study at a high level so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions you can always text me and if you want to get that gun bunch offense go ahead and shoot me a text message as well